Hello everybody, here's my mom all, and we're gonna be showing y'all her monthly gifts today. This is all the gifts that we received in the past month, and we're gonna just show them all on the video, so that way y'all see that y'all's gifts has got received, and then she's gonna read a few scriptures for y'all and pray for y'all. But I'll start over here. Normally, the last few times we've done this, they was real long videos. They was probably 30 minutes long or more, and uh, a lot of people didn't really like it that super long. So I'm gonna try to shorten it up. I'm just gonna show each package, what come in each package. But that doesn't mean that we appreciate it any less. I'm just trying to make it a more pleasant uh, video and experience for you guys. Yeah. But we still really appreciate all your That's gifts. Right. Yeah. I was show them the... uh, here's all the aprons. Yeah. This the whole side of the table, everything from here up to there is all one big package. That one lady sent me. She sent me three aprons. She sent the one that she's wearing and this, this one. one. And then this one. And these fit me perfect the way they're made. And you'll see these in the next cooking videos too. Yeah. The next uh, three cooking videos, she'll be wearing these aprons. Yeah. See? So that's my three new aprons. And y'all probably see them in many other videos too after that. And then this. Another uh, dough hook is what this is called. And they are good too. Yeah, very handy. They sure are. Thank you so much for that. Here's some unique horse stickers. I didn't think to look. stamps. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. I said stickers. Sorry guys. Yeah. Some cool horse stamps. And I have had several people send me stamps. And as soon as I start getting low on stamps, y'all y'all start sending them to me, and I really appreciate it because I send out a lot of letters. <laughs> yeah, she sends out. Dozens of letters it seems like every day um, But anybody who sends a letter or sends a package with the letter inside of it like this one yeah. Had her letter inside of it. This will be going entered into the giveaway that we do at the end of each month We're actually going to be doing that either later today or maybe tomorrow and we're gonna Do the giveaway video where we uh, draw a random card and out of every single card that anybody who sent a card with your address on it will put it in there or if you sent a package that has your address on it like this one yeah. This will be in the drawing tomorrow. That's right so y'all make sure to put y'all's address on the inside of the card if y'all do uh, send something. So we'll enter it into the giveaway so you'll have a chance to win the giveaway. Yeah, and here's a flag somebody sends us. And it, and it says, uh, God is good. It's oh, upside down. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> Some bloopers. <laughs> It'll probably go backwards too. God is good all the time. I'm gonna hang it up on my porch out there. We got a flag po uh, pole out there. I'm gonna hang it on it. Well, we haven't used it in a long time either, the flag pole. Yeah. Uh, and here's this, some of this other stuff that was in this package. There's one of these things. I think this might have been handmade because we was talking about on the video how these is hard to find. It's like a pot holder thing where it, it goes over the handle. Uh -huh. And we talked about it in one video how one of them ended up in the oven one time and it ended up getting cooked in the oven. And see them two down there? Excuse me. <clears throat> Them is the grip holders to open your jars with. And she's got magnets in them and they'll go on the refrigerator. And so it's real handy. You won't be digging around in the drawer for them. So that is really handy. Yeah. So all this candy, dish towels, pot holders, pot holders stamps, aprons, I mean, dough hook. <laughs> and both of these things, uh, they clip on the stove. These are like stove uh, hand towels to wipe your hands on. Yeah. But they're so nice. Be scared to wipe our hands on it. <laughs> I have used them, but I don't really want to. <laughs> yeah, these would be mainly so pretty. for decoration, and you will see these uh, hanging here on the stove in the next video. Yeah, and we even got some food. Yeah. <laughs> here's a uh, some flowers, seeds, a few different types of seeds in there. And some candies. The candies, all the candies didn't make it to the video. Somebody's already <laughs> snuck into them. This one too. Somebody already snuck into this one. That was me and Pop Pop. <laughs> yeah. Just earlier, I put all the stuff out, and then uh, they got back from Beckley, and I seen the wrapper to one of these laying on the counter in there. So I guess Pop Pop grabbed one when he walked through. <laughs> yeah. But thank you so much for uh, all your gifts, and we do really appreciate it. And you'll be entered into the giveaway. Your card will yeah. and uh, get the giveaway for tomorrow. And the flag and all this stuff came together. These four things here and then the flag. 
And them's the bookmarks that we've been putting in our uh, cookbooks. Yeah. So thank you so much for those that will put one of these in every cookbook. And same for this, the pocket hug. It says, a little heart from me to you, filled with lots of love and big hugs too. Love you lots. That's a cool pen that's got like 10 different colors. And then some stickers. We'll be putting uh, one of these into each, or one of these into each cookbook thing too. Now for all the food stuff. This was all different packages, yeah. but it was all from the same person. It was probably four or five different packages, but they all come from the same same person. And okay. this was in the package by itself, and this was in the package by itself. And these was in a package together. This is peach jam. Everybody knows I like peach jam and peach tea and <laughs> peach pie. And yeah, the reason they sent this is because we've talked about it a few times, but this is Mama's favorite of mayo, and she does use yeah. this for a lot of recipes. Especially for my potato salad and macaroni salad. That's what I use. Yeah, all this stuff we've used in different recipes. We've uh, used this for a recipe before, yeah. so she sent that. And this. Yeah, we've used this in a recipe and like a, I think. Bologna salad. Yeah, a bologna salad recipe, so she sent that. And the cowtails, everybody knows that my mom and papa just love cowtails, so that's, so people send these a lot. So thank you so much for all your food and snacks, and we do really appreciate it, and we'll definitely eat it for sure. It won't go to waste, that's for sure. And we do appreciate it. Thank you so much for this stuff. And here's all kinds of really nice looking candies. These, we'll go for a little ride with these at um, church tomorrow night yeah. or the day after tomorrow on Sunday. We'll give these a trial run. I done dipped into them. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know. Yeah. Mama done gave them a trial run. Yes, I did. <laughs> this one is sweet orange blossom in a hard candy. It's, it's good too. And it's called Honey Bell. This one is peach buds with a peachy tang. Yeah. This one is key lime twist. And this one's a cherry bud with a tart cherry tang. Yeah. Which one did you like the best? I like these two the best. Yeah, this one's one. orange blossom. Then this one. Then that one and that one. <laughs> uh, I don't really like cherries, but I'll, I'll still try them all. I'm going to try this one for sure, even though it's cherry. So thank you so much for that. It's a special gift a unique gift and we do eat us uh, hard candy like this a lot every time we go to church we snack on some hard candy so we'll definitely be using this for sure yeah. so thank you so much for this and we do really appreciate it anybody who sent something from a business like i don't know if you own this business or not and you sent it from your business like a gift but if you did then uh, let it you should let us know in a card and we'll give your business a shout out and people will be checking it out in the yeah, I'm not sure if the, the lady who sent this actually owns this business or not, or if she just sent it to us. I can't remember either. But anybody who sends something from their business, just make sure to put a card in there, and we'll give you a shout-out. Yeah, that's right. And there's a bunch of aprons. Now, this lady made all these aprons. She had material, and she said that uh, she made this one for me, though. She said the purple one was mine. But uh, she made them, and uh, she had all kinds of material. She said, you can give them away or whatever you want to do with them, you know. And uh, But she made this one for me, It's the, and they have pockets, and it's the purple one with the flowers there. So the daisies, petunias, so. And then she's got different ones, a bee one, a dog one. A, a lemon one. Yeah. And then the leaves. leaves one, and then the multicolored on what you call, what yeah. you call that. It looks like a cultural print, like a maybe a Mexican style print or something. Yeah. A Aztec, Aztec, Aztec. Something, Aztec, something like that. Yeah, something Indian. similar to that. Yeah. So thank you so much for all your aprons and and if we do uh, re-gift them, since you said in the car that those are for to give away to people, she might give them away to like yeah. some of her friends and stuff and. Yeah. Sandra might, probably want one. And, yeah, we might put one into the giveaway because when we do the giveaway, we put all kinds of stuff in there. We might throw one of these in the giveaway. Yeah. And also it came with all this stuff. Here's a whole bunch of cards, a whole yeah. box of cards, and then here's a whole bunch of cards here. And this uh, has a letter here that has your address on it. 
So we'll uh, put this letter that has your address on it into one of these cards and then we'll put it into the giveaway. That way uh, you'll be entered into the giveaway too. So you won't be left out. So thank you so much for all the aprons and the cards and stuff. These will definitely be used too because Mama sends out so many cards. So these will be used for sure. Thank you so much for, for that. And we do really appreciate it. And we, we appreciate each and every one of y'all. Yes, we do. Somebody sent a, a roll of paper towels. And we didn't have no paper towels. And somehow they ended up opened. And we used a couple of them. So we're sorry that we had to open it before it was time to show it. But we uh, needed to use some. Yeah. So we thank you so much towels. for that. Yeah. <laughs> At least you'll know that they're going to use. Yeah. And this is a really cool uh, gadget here. It's called a plastic kettle. And these things are in the Philippines. Every single hotel and every house has got one of these in it. Any hotel, apartment, condo, anything is going to have one of these in it. And it, it boils water so fast. In like probably two minutes, it'll have water boiling in there. And it's perfect for making tea. We got Me and Mama's got a few different tea recipes where we use one of these. Because we have another one that's like all glass. But this one's a new one. We'll have to try this one out too and see how, how it works. We might make a video of us uh, making some tea in this. So thank you so much for this. It's a really nice gift and we do love it and we'll use it for sure. And if, it, if any of y'all's never seen one of these, y'all should check them out. They're a very useful gadget for boiling water. It boils water so fast. It saves so much time on anything that you're doing. And here's a... Uh, a sign. It says rise and shine. That's what we do when that rooster starts crowing. <laughs> yeah. And now all this stuff here at the top was, uh, these was both from Mama. It's a Dolly Parton pot holder. pot holder and it's in the shape of an apple. The little holder thing is like the stem of the apple. And this is Dolly Parton too. It says from my heart to your home, Dolly. And then the same lady who sent those sent this for me to put beside my bed. And it has like a, see there's her name, Francis. Thank you so much, Francis, for this because I'll definitely use it for sure. And every day, like you start on a certain day and it's a one year thing. And you read this in the morning when you wake up. And the next day, next morning when you wake up, you read the next one. And you just keep going and going and going until you get to the end. And once you get to the end, it's all different ones on the back. So you could start over, but it's different verses. You flip it this way, and then you could flip them back. So it's a one-year thing of every morning when you wake up, you could read one. And I'll definitely use this for sure. I'm going to start using it tonight. Or in the morning when I wake up, I'll read the first one. So thank you so much for these. We do really appreciate it, and we, we love the gifts. And we love you. We love each and every one of y'all. Yes, we do. We appreciate everything. Yeah, and if I didn't say thank you to the person who sent this and this, uh, thank you so much for them too. And this lady here, uh, Mama's already sent her a, a package back because uh, she sent this uh, cookbook of her cookbook, so Mama sent her a cookbook. I think it was her husband that done it. And uh, he sent me his, uh, well, I think him and her both wrote it, I can't remember now. But anyway, uh, sent it to me, and then I sent them one back of my cookbook, so... Uh, tell them the name of it. Uh, it's called Someone's in the Kitchen with Lizzie. Lizzie Borden's Kitchen Hacks and Victorian Recipes. I don't know if y'all heard the story, but it's like a it's a horror story where she killed her family or something. Yeah, and it's got turtle soup and I don't know what all in there. So uh, it's very interesting. Yeah, and it's an old Tommy uh, nursery rhyme too. There's a song about it, which I can't really say the lyrics or I can't, yeah. but y'all could probably look it up, the song about Lizzie Borden. It's like an old nursery rhyme or something. But thank you so much for the cookbook. We'll try to make some recipes out of this if we can. We won't be uh, making the turtle soup, but we- <laughs> I don't know what I'll do, but they, they sub, I don't, uh, I don't yeah. know if it's just a joke recipes or what. But now I do remember my mom eating turtle. And she said it tastes like chicken. But her sister told her what it was, and, and she uh, went outside and started puking <laughs> because of thought of eating a turtle. Uh, we'll leave the turtle uh, soup out, but we might make some of the recipes in here. There was like a tartar sauce recipe that we might try. And I can't remember. There was several we looked at. Raisin today. bread. 
buckwheat cakes. We might try some of the recipes in here, but thank I you love, so much. Uh, buckwheat uh, pancakes, yeah. but you can't find the buckwheat anymore. Here's the last uh, few things. Here's a prayer journal. Oh, the camera went off somehow for a minute, but we're back. Uh, here's a prayer journal and a bunch of cards that we'll put these little booklets. I guess it's just like a little yeah. blank booklet to write in. No, oh, it's got a Bible verse on it too. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's little notepads. Let me see. You see it like this. It's little notepads. So you can scribble things down in your verses or something you want to remember. It's little notepads. And I'll probably get some little ink pens put in with it. Yeah. And you can get some little ink pens. And we'll put these in the cookbooks too. Any uh, cookbook orders. We always put a little, a uh, few extra things in there. So we'll put one of these into the cookbooks yeah. orders. So thank you so much for your prayer journal and your, your cards. We do really appreciate it. And these are unique gifts too. Yeah, they are. And this came in a package by itself and there was no uh, address or we don't know who sent it or anything like that it was just in a box by itself it says god says you are beautiful victorious enough created strong amazing capable chosen never alone always loved and it stands by itself it's like a little sign like this it just stands up like that so that's cool this will probably go in mama's uh cabinet where yeah. she keeps all her chicken gifts that y'all send her Thank you so much for that, whoever sent that. I'm sorry that uh, we don't know who it is, but we do appreciate it, whoever sent it. And then here's the last two. This is a measuring cup set. I think uh, people send measuring cups a lot because Mama always says just eyeball it, and she always eyeballs a lot of the things. Yeah. So some people that's like new viewers and stuff, they send measuring cups to uh, so they could see the actual measured amount when she's making the recipes. So thank you so much for this. And tr she'll try her best to use them. Like, I can't force her to make them because she <laughs> normally just eye eyeballs everything. But we'll I use them every once in a while, yeah. Yeah, we'll try to use them for you uh, one day. Yeah. And it come with this, too. It uh, says, Joy comes in the morning, Psalms 35. That's a magnet for the refrigerator. Oh, and this will go on the refrigerator for sure. Mama keeps all of her magnets on her mini fridge. It's in her room. So any of the magnets will go to her, her fridge. So thank you so much for this and for all y'all's gifts and we do really appreciate it. I know I say it a lot, but we do appreciate y'all a lot. So, so it's hard not to just say it over and over. And, yeah. But I hope y'all know that we do really appreciate y'all and we love y'all. But Mama's going to read a few scriptures for y'all now and pray for y'all. Yes. Yeah, we really do appreciate everything y'all do for us. All the support that you show us, we really thank you for it, you know. God is good, you know, to us, and uh, and y'all are so good to us, and I appreciate it. Me and Corey both appreciate it. But I'm going to be reading in Proverbs, the 28th chapter. It says, Evil men understand, understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, but he that is... Uh, champion of riotous men shameth his father. He that by usury and unjust gain increase his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. Uh, he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Whoso causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit but the upright shall have good things in possession. And it says, Because judgment, justice is part of God's character, a person who follows God treats others justly. Justice begins with concern about what is happening to others. A Christian cannot be indifferent to human suffering because God isn't. And we certainly must not contribute to human suffering, though selfish business practices or unfair government policies be sure you are more concerned about justice than merely your own interest. You can't claim to follow God and ignore your neighbor. God does not regard our prayers if we intend to go back to our sin as soon as we get off our knees. When we forsake our sin and follow him, however, he willingly listens. No matter how bad our sin has been, 
What closes his ears is not the depth of our sin, but our secret intention to do it again. You see, God knows everything. He knows your intentions of your heart. He knows if you're sincere and you're not going to sin again, or if you're sincere and that you will not sin again. He knows your intentions. It says God hears our intentions as clearly as he hears our words. And that is so true, you know. So God knows everything. He hears everything. He sees everything. He knows what's in your heart. He knows what you're going to do. You know, so if you're sincere to him, he'll be sincere to you. You trust in him and follow him wholeheartedly, and he'll be the same way towards you, you know. Amen. But we're going to uh, pray for all our YouTube family. Pray for the lost that's out there. Pray for our nation and our world, you know, because it is a terrible mess. You know, so, uh, you know, God has to be coming back soon, and we want to be ready, you know. So we need to be prayed up, read up, and ready to go up, don't we? So, Amen. dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you this evening, Lord, just loving you and praising you, Lord. Uh, thanking you for always being with us, Lord, and walking with us, talking with us, Lord, leading and guiding us, Lord Jesus. We thank you for that, Lord. Uh, Lord, because we know the devil's out there always trying to trick us, Lord Jesus, no matter what. But we know if we rely on you and trust in you and read your word, Lord, that we'll never fail, Lord Jesus, but we'll be on the right road to go to heaven to be with you one day, Lord. And Lord, I ask you to touch our YouTube family out there, Lord. You see the needs, Lord Jesus. You see the ones that are sick and afflicted, Lord, that need a touch from you. The ones that's going through surgery, Lord, that's in the hospital, Lord, that needs a touch, Lord. Lord, just be with them. And that, Lord, guide the doctor's hands, Lord Jesus, and take care of them, Lord. Help them to heal fast when they go through surgeries or whatever, Lord. Let the doctors and the nurses and things know that it's you that brings them through it all, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, in your mighty name, touch each family, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, each thing that's going on in each home, Lord Jesus, we just ask you to move in a mighty way, Lord. Uh, keep your arms around our YouTube family and their family, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, that the devil won't get in there and try to destroy or tear down, Lord Jesus, in your mighty name, Lord. Uh, have your way in each and every heart, Lord Jesus. Uh, help us to always look into you and to trust in you, Lord. Know that you'll move for us, Lord Jesus, if we just hold to you, Lord. Uh, Lord, and that we'll have to rebuke the devil and tell him to get behind us, Lord. Uh, that we're going on with you, Lord, no matter what, Lord. Uh, Lord, we just praise you and love you, Lord Jesus. Touch our nation and our leaders, Lord. Uh, help them to see that they need to turn to you for all the answers, Lord Jesus. Uh, that you're in control, Lord Jesus, and you will work everything out. Lord, but we have to turn to you, Lord. Uh, Lord, and touch Israel, Lord. Keep your hand over them, Lord, in your mighty name, Lord. We know that's your people over there, Lord. And we need to constantly pray for Israel, Lord, and the people over there, Lord. Uh, Lord, you ask us to do that in your word, Lord. Help us not to fail to do that, Lord. In your mighty name, Lord, have your way in all things, Lord. You see the lost out there, Lord, that don't know you yet, Lord. Uh, Lord, ask you to touch their hearts and their mind, Lord, that they'll turn to you before it's eternally too late, Lord. Uh, Lord, we just lift you up and honor you, and we praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God is good, and he will hold on to us no matter what, you know. See, it's not God that turns from us. It's ourselves. If we turn from God, it's us. It's not God because God's there holding to you, you know. But if you push him away, he's not going to stay if he's not wanted, you know. So you want to hold on to the Lord and be true and faithful to him, and he'll be true and faithful to you. We love you. We thank you for all this stuff. You're just so good to us. Uh, so y'all go and have a good evening and um, just hold on to the Lord no matter what comes your way, knowing that God loves you. And we love you. Yeah, we love y'all and appreciate y'all. Yes, we do. And uh, I guess that's all for this one. But we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you're still watching the video. Yeah. And tell y'all's family about us so we can grow our family. That's right. Our amen. YouTube family. But we love y'all, and God bless y'all, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Amen. All <laughs> our gifts. Thank you. Thank y'all.